Fred Dra was working at the port when he contracted COVID-19. The experience, according to him, was scary. My son drove me to the roadside. An ambulance came. My wife was there. My daughter was there. My son. Then the whole sta family started crying because of the news out there. So me, myself, uh, I became worried. But all the same, I gathered the courage, packed down my small things, and I left. The only thing that we do over there is that they call you on phone. They don't get closer to you. They just call you, Fred, are you okay? I say, I'm okay. Then they'll just push your food to a, a door. Then you pick the food, then they close the door. Nobody wants to get closer to me. Because they realize that first case, maybe I don't know how they also think about it. Because the initial stage is you cannot go out. I was a bit uh, disturbed. I will stay here today, give the doctors, over, the doctors and the nurses over there uh, 95 to 8 percent because they did very good. Gan East doctors, I will say today and I will still congratulate them that they did very good job. I spent about three weeks over there. I was the first person to be admitted, but people left because I was doing some kinds of uh, humanitarian support to the people. I asked him what was the key to surviving coronavirus. The key to survival is first, your immune system needs to be strong. And I thank God there are psychologists over there. When you come there, there are psychologists at Gan uh, East District Hospital that try to circle your mind, believing that you will not die. So first of all, you need to tune up your mind that, look, let me just go through this process and be, be strong. So your immune system needs to be strong. In my case, there's nothing like oxygen. Just about four or five days or six days later, then they started giving us some medications, chloroquine and antibiotic, um, vit vitamin C. His family say they will continue to encourage him. In fact, they've been strongly backing me. They went through some small stigma. It's true, currently they're also going through that. But they are proud of that. They are ready to introduce to the whole world that, look, their dad went, when I was going, they were crying. But their, their dad went and their dad is back. Yesterday, before I came to the house, ah, they are all in white, white, waiting for their dad. Fred had an advice for Ghanaians. So the stigma really is there. That's why I want to let all Ghanaians to know when someone is being tested positive, that doesn't mean that the person, uh, uh, the person is going to die or that person will just come to you closer than you, you get it. You can get it through any means, any means you can get it. We are all at risk. We are all at risk. But the whole thing, then let's just, just be careful.